these guys straight off um, fence building. They're building a fence for Burnett. Uh huh. What, what do you mean? You're building a fence? Uh, that's like, all. I literally, uh, he needed a fence. How's Burnett as a client? Great so far. Awkward for me. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. If you fuck up, it's you're not, not going to get any coverage. Yeah, but I fuck up his fence. Yeah, well, you don't get. I mean, I don't get any coverage anyway. So <laughs> if I do a good job, maybe I'll get a photo in there. Yeah. If you do even a worse job, though, at least you get like an Instagram <laughs> shout out. Like, oh, shit. Yeah, you guys this, this, this dude sucks at work too. Yeah. <laughs> So are you the general contractor and he's just one of your uh, helpers? Is We're this just two deal? broke dipshits. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we can't afford to skate every day, so. The fence looks sweet though. You yeah, should the fence is gonna be great. It's you gonna, should totally come by. <laughs> I mean, if you wanna talk about out. the fence, I can. Can you send us a picture when you, when you get out of here? Yeah, yeah. yeah, we're gonna need to see the finished product if you don't if mind. you need a fence or you need a fence. We, we can probably get you guys some business. Do you guys have a, There's an a lot LLC of skate parks or anything? That need fences, no. 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 I built skate parks for a while, for three or four years with, with artisan skate parks. Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, but since I moved out here, I, I, it was just too much traveling, you know? I mean, it was fun and I learned everything and it was with a lot of my good friends, but now I'm out here and I kind of want to st stick around. Uh huh. So like I'll do like residential jobs for people like skate park or not skate park. If you want a driveway, that's fine. If you mm -hmm. want a fence, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Totally fine. Did yeah. you build his his? Yeah, well skate we. Park stuff yeah, yeah. He yeah. taught me everything I knew. No. No. I still yeah, I just it. forgot it. You yeah. It I knew it. it. Yeah. I still know it. <laughs> Definitely knew it at one point though. So did you ever think that be, from being from Canada? and a skateboarder, that you'd be in Southern California building fences one day with Kyle here. <laughs> for Mike Burnett. Well, for yeah. <laughs> work hard and dreams come yeah. true. <laughs> oh, let's jump right into the acting, please. Uh, can we talk about <laughs> Zolar? Oh it's, yeah, we can totally talk about that. <laughs> you look in, enthused, it's... <laughs> it was a great time. It's seriously the funniest thing ever. Did you, I didn't see the whole thing. I was gonna say, how the hell do you watch? I saw only bits and pieces, and let me tell you, I was like, this is better than Prometheus. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I heard Prometheus just was. <laughs> yeah, it was Top good. Notch. It was good. Zolar. Zolar! Is, Way. I mean, a different, it's on a different scale unto itself. So. Yeah. It's really good. How did that come about? What's the deal? How come um, you're an alien? I got into doing like stunt work when I was like a kid, maybe like 14 ish, like through Alex Chalmers and Sluggo. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Cause uh, they they were always in like the film industry since I like knew them, you know. Yeah. So um, Sluggo was like a stunt coordinator, and Alex did a bunch of stunt work. They tipped me off that there's like this WB kids show, like it's a pilot that they're trying to. They need a skateboarder to like. Originally, I was just supposed to double the lead mm -hmm. or whatever, but. Uh, so I just took it upon myself. I found out where the like casting office was, and I just like wrote out. Um, like a makeshift resume that uh -huh. was, just had like contest like <laughs> list and like I came yeah. seventh at yeah, this yeah. local mm -hmm. doesn't <laughs> doesn't matter. Yeah. But to them it was like oh shit like yeah this guy's legit. This yeah. guy you can probably skate. made it easy for them. They didn't have to hunt. Yeah, hard. and I like walked straight into the office and was just like hey I'm here for the I'm here for the part. <laughs> here, here to be an alien like and uh, they. So here, I won't, I'll, dude, I remember this guy. He's like the director, I forget his name. It was like Goldstein or some, yeah, some, something, you know, big time. Yes, guy. yes. But uh, I met the assistant director, like, met me at the door. She was like on her way out or whatever. And she just asked me what I was doing there. And I just was like, here, I just want to drop my resume off. Is like, maybe you need this, you know, a double or whatever skateboarder. Yeah. And then she like walked into the director, and the director just called me in. I was like, I'm having a Hollywood moment. Yeah. And he's like, how would you like to try out for the lead? He said that. <laughs> yeah. That's and I was awesome. like, fuck it. <laughs> you know? So. And you got the lead. He sent me to like uh, this like, uh, what do you get, acting coach? Mm -hmm. I don't think it helped, but it, you know. It oh, so they, so they it, taught you different methods. I mean, methods. you saw it. It couldn't get worse than that. <laughs> oh, you were just like, hey, you guys. Were, yeah. You were kind of yourself Zany. with like it was just, with, yeah. blue face. Yeah, with, with like a big ball sack. <laughs> it was like a nose. It was like. <laughs> I come in and I was a bald and had blue spackled like freckles and yeah. three fingers and this big ball sack nose. Ooh. How long did it so, take to film that movie? <laughs> blue balls on my face. <laughs> 
Dude, it right. was horrible. Hey, but, dude, it beats building a fence. I bet. <laughs> it does. Yeah, yeah. It does. All right, but it, no, it was like I don't care. Like, was it months? No, it was Weeks? 17 days, and oh. you get this paycheck at the end that you like triple take on. You're just yeah. like, yes. A lot of zeros. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. You're just like, what the fuck? I'd do that any yeah. time of the day. I'd do you it right do now. You do Zolar too? Yeah. Oh my God. Can I read some of the reviews Ooh. from Amazon? Oh, I'd love the it. Zolar reviews? <laughs> i love it. Do it. All right. There's only three. <laughs> but you, I, and on Rotten Tomatoes, the movie averaged three and a half stars, which I thought was pretty good out of five. That's decent. Okay, so you've got. <laughs> Probably one of the worst <laughs> movies I've ever seen. It's a running joke <laughs> in my family. The graphics are far behind the times, and half the story plot doesn't make sense. I agree with that. It was in the dollar bin at Walmart for a good six to eight weeks. Really? Yeah. It's good exposure. Yeah. Great. Yeah, you know what? You're probably an IMDb somewhere, huh? Uh, the movie yeah. is. For Zolar. Sure. Yeah, I think so. Well, you were in Blade Trinity, too. I'm still available. You were if in Blade Trinity, me, too? Do that again. I'm down. I need you. That's Wait a second. Build the fence. <laughs> Wait, what, what did you do in Blade Trinity? Because I've seen all the Blades. Huge Snipes fan over here. Big Snipes fan, huh? Huge. Stephen Dorff, Wesley Snipes. Just yeah, I used to be a Snipes fan. He's until you met him. He was a dick. Was he? Yeah, he yeah. doesn't seem like the coolest Blade. Tell us about that. I met him for like 10 seconds. And he was a dick. <laughs> he was a dick that <laughs> fast. He was that fast. That's a dick then. Oh, hey, he's a dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah if you could tell that quickly. You. <laughs> was he just like too busy for you? Like, what was the vibe? Yeah, yeah. Just, I mean, I get it. Like, everyone wants a piece of snipes. You want a piece of snipes. He was <laughs> so much snipes. He's probably wondering why Zolar was on set. <laughs> yeah, he's like, oh, he's a kid from Zolar. He's like, oh, he's like, so he's he's like fuck this. My, my kid makes me watch. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you do in Blade Trinity? I was a vampire. Like you were one of the vampires. Skateboarding vampire oh. in the in the um, subway station, where we like ambush uh, Jessica Biel's character. Okay. And then she's like an old lady holding a baby, and then she's like, Ah, fuck that! <laughs> I'm super strong and hot, and I'm gonna kick your ass. Yeah. Yeah. So she did you our get ass. beat up by Jessica Biel? Yeah, I did. That's the deal. Okay. That's the deal. Okay. But I got to no slide this escalator hubba. <laughs> Into combat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and and uh, she told me that was really impressive. So. Whoa, you could have been Mr. Beal right now. Uh, How come there's <laughs> conflicting stories about whether or not you hooked up with Jessica Beal? <sighs> <laughs> like, I, I know because it's because he's told some people the truth and some people yeah, lies. Yeah. Is that the deal? <laughs> More or less. <laughs> That's the deal. <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the truth. That's yeah. the Beal. The, the fact is, is that I'm not. <laughs> Mr. Beal. <laughs> That's obvious. Uh, That's obvious. That's obvious. Yeah, but you're lucky that you have just such a huge um, fan base over there at Tampa for winning Tampa M and Tampa Pro two years in a row. Mm -hmm. The only one to do it ever. Ever. And but Luan won like Tampa M <laughs> and Tampa Pro, but you won it back to back. You won it as an M. And then you wanted but I didn't. I didn't win it the same year. You didn't? No, no. The next year. Well, that's because no. it's a December and then March, right? But it wasn't always December, was it? I don't know. I just know January. it was back to back. I just okay. know it was back to back. It wasn't. It was. It was in January and March yeah. at the time. But I wasn't pro within two months. Oh, that's so then I went. I went around. You the went year around. Again. Yeah. Well, that doesn't count then. I never said it did. I don't. I've never given a shit about it. But. <laughs> You know what? It's it's like a but the biggest you're, deal. You're you're locked into the semifinals forever, right? Yeah, but you still got to cool. but then you still got to make like the the tough cut, which I got 11th yeah. this year. I missed the cut. I won. But I didn't expect it. You always do any. sugar cans every year. That stokes me out. Yeah, yeah. Nobody really does this. Lean to tail. That's the I always listen for it out in the parking lot. You know, they're just tail? Yeah. <laughs> and now you're on Valelli. Oh, no. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> a lot now of people. On Mike a lot of people say that. Like, they're, well, because like, oh, he yeah. had Valelli yeah, for yeah. a minute. And, so and, and he used an elephant graphic, right? Then. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. but elephant, elephants, is awesome. It's cool. I mean, I when he called me, he's like, he doesn't have any expectations. He just told me that like he wants me to do what I'm gonna do anyway. Mm -hmm. If I film a video part, he'll give me a board. I was like, I gotta work. I still mm -hmm. I work all the time. He's like, oh, I don't care. Like whatever. Well, so it's not like I'm gonna say no, and it's not, and I, and I wanted to. It was like, I, I I was on Excel Wheels with Mike back in the day. Way back. Like, yeah. So like we've traveled together and shit. So he. It's cool. <laughs> He's fucking cool. You said that you. So you said you're working on a part. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's an elephant <laughs> part, released on Thrasher. Yeah. Okay. 
And it'll make you pro after? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't yeah. know what it'll You'll do. Officially You'll still be pro, be pro yeah. after. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's no real... The rebirth. Yeah, there's no real word for it. But the part will be out hopefully in the next couple of weeks or nice. something like that. Nice. Hey, I've got a question. Scary, do, you think that, do you think that skateboarding changed for you after you yeah. lost all this weight that you've See, lost? Oh, when I was like fat and drunk? Well, you were... <laughs> you were Jesus. I don't... Well, what was the thing that made you stop drinking? Was there one instance that you can talk about? That happened. I mean, there was plenty, but beating up Dracula was that it? No, no, God, <laughs> I, I started getting sick, and I'd have to go to the hospital. Like, uh, I went like ten times. Yeah. Yeah, but the last one I remember, like, I was like, all right, I'm really gonna die this time. Like, from yeah. drinking? Yeah, it was. It was the. It was. Ta it was at Tampa. And I know a lot of people feel like that after Tampa, but like this was like <laughs> yeah, this was like the, this was the real one. The Tampa flu. This is the real one. When I w I was driving back up with with my friends and. Started convulsing real bad, and I, I used to do that all the time because I would drink and not eat, you know. And then I I, I had broke my arm that Thursday, yeah. And then I was just drinking moonshine and, and on oxycotton's all oh, all weekend, my gosh, and then like I, heart failure. Yeah, like yeah, all yeah. yeah all weekend, and then I forgot to eat. But so then that sun Sunday or whenever it was Monday that I had to go in, I had to go into the emergency room, and then it was busy. So then I was like shaking super bad in front of everyone, and everyone was like, oh my god, that guy's fucked up on something, and it was, I mean, I was. But I realized at that point, I was like, I'm a fucking, like, I'm a, I'm an alcoholic. Like, I'm fucked up because I, I need it. Like, it's not like, oh, let's have a beer, because this is like, you know what I mean? Like, mm. I need it, or I'm gonna start shaking really bad. So then, and I, and when it, when, when the hospital was full of people, I realized, when I was on the bed, I was like, I'm taking this bed up someone else fucking needs it. I put myself here and every, and people are in the emergency room screaming and fucking dying too, you know, but yeah. they didn't do it to themselves. That's what made me quit. Yeah. That's, that's how long you've been sober. Two and a half years. Do you are you going to meetings and doing the whole thing? I used thing, to. Or? I I I, I haven't been to a meeting in a, I haven't been to a meeting in a while. I had to go though when it, when it first started mm -hmm. because I want I mean I was shaking still. I had I had a migraine for like 6 weeks. Jesus. Like, oh. And then but I remember I was driving from Virginia. I was like, all right, mom, I'm getting back on the road. I'm going to, like, I'm not going on a skate trip. Like, I'm going to work. Yeah. And I was driving to Alabama from Virginia Beach. Mm. And I went blind when I was on Interstate 95. Because really? of, yeah, because I was like, I was having headaches every day and I was trying to get. And you were just dealing with them. Over the shit. And then I was just like, like, if someone did that. So I pulled over to a rest stop. And Both I was, eyes? No, just one. But I was like, well, one, if one goes, why, you know. So I pulled over. And I called my mom and I was like, all right, I'm fucking blind. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> Jesus. That's not funny. Yeah, but it's That's like, like but it's not like, migraines. Yeah. Because migraines is sort of a yeah. factor. Is that what it does? And, it's withdraw yeah. and it's withdrawals and everything. Yeah. And, and just, it, it, was, it was insane. Yeah, so, people die from withdrawals. Yeah, a lot of, see, like I thought that. I was having the stroke. Like, it, you have a stroke after you quit if you're older. Like, mm -hmm. if you're drinking every day like that and you're 40, say, not 26, which was yeah. like, but. But then I called her and I was like, you know what? I know what'll fix it. I, I, I fucking know what'll fix it. I'll just, I go to a liquor store and I just get Jack Daniels and I'll drink it all. And my eyes, I'll see again. <laughs> and, my, and I could just hear my mom like, no, don't do that. And I'm like, I'm not gonna do that, but I am fucking blind right now. So I'm just gonna <laughs> fucking sit here. I was in South Carolina or Atlanta or something like that. And then it just went boop and it came back. How long wow. after? Like, it, well, how long was my eye out? Like, yeah, with my eye yeah, out. My, uh, 20 minutes or something. Scary. Did that ever happen again? No, not after that one. A lot of weird shit happened though. When you drink that much, it's like, like, oh, you know, I don't know. People think it's cool to fucking, like, market that shit or whatever, and it's not like I'm saying that that's like, oh well, yeah, I am. It's, it's just fucking lame. Like, the real fucking gnarly alcoholics, you can't market that shit. You're, no. in, you're in a fucking hospital once a month. You yeah. know what I mean? Like. So. You had an interview in Penthouse. Yeah. And then you wrote for Penthouse Energy Drink. What? Yeah. What, what kind of energy does Penthouse Energy actually give you? Where are you going, bro? Human being gonna do shit. And I was so heated and mad, I was just like, fuck this. And I've seen the bowling rack right there. <laughs> 